This video is sponsored by the Heath Robot. Drive the future. Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. If you're here from the previous video, glad to see you back. I assume that you've just finished project number 9. If so, let's move on to project number 10 or how to drive a servo. The aim of this project is to introduce how a micro servo works and how easy it is to control. Uh, let's go! Here are the things that we need. The DF Arduino board, male-to-male -male jumper cables, and of course, the 9G micro servo. All right, let's wire it up. Let's get our DF Arduino board, set up our micro servo, attach the black jumper cable to the brown wire or pin of the servo, attach the red jumper cable to the red wire or pin of the servo, then attach the green jumper cable to the yellow wire or pin of the servo. The black jumper cable is connected to DF Arduino's ground. Red jumper cable is connected to 5 volts, and green jumper cable is connected to DF Arduino's digital pin number 9. That's it for the wiring. Now let's connect our board to the computer. Here's the sample code. Make sure that the MCU is being detected and we're using the correct board. Click on verify, then upload the code. Let's try and speed it up a little by replacing 180 degrees to 90 degrees. And that's it for the demo. This is how the code works. First up, we add the structure to call and declare the servo library. Then, add servo object to control the servo. This is where we add a variable called pos to store the servo position which in this case is at 0 degrees. On the void setup, we have a new syntax called attach. We can either use it with a single parameter or three. Attach with a single parameter only contains the pin number of where it is connected to. Attach with three parameters contains the pin number and minimum, the pulse width in microseconds corresponding to the minimum or zero degree angle, and maximum, which is also the pulse width in microseconds corresponding to the maximum or 180 degree angle on the servo. On this project, we call the myservo object of the servo library and attach it to DF robots digital pin number 9. Moving on to the void loop, we have another familiar looking control structure. The for statement. On this block of code, pos equals 0 is where we initialize the pos variable as 0, pos less than 180 as the condition, and pos plus equals 1 as the increment where the servo would go from 0 to 180 degrees in steps of 1 degree. My servo dot write pos. This syntax right here has two parameters, my servo, the servo object, and the angle which is represented by pos. What happens here is write would tell the servo object my servo to go to the degree angle in pos from the for loop. Delay 15 is the duration of the servo to reach a position given by pos on each 1 degree increment. And lastly, the for statement below works exactly like this but in reverse. And uh, yeah that's it. I know that it can be quite confusing, so for a more in-depth explanation, please refer to the PDF. Click right here if you feel ready to move on to the next project. See ya!